Welcome mates and bloodthirsty lord by Yunkami Lordy and today we're back on Fortnite We haven't been on this game for quite a while because there have been so many problems on this But now we're back into action and we're gonna enjoy the Fortnite experience with our series the top five best forts or best bases Within Fortnite and this is gonna be one interesting episode And it was hard to get some of these clips from the actual people that sent them They gave me their username and everything but because of time zone differences It's hard to be on the same time as them be able to join them when they have free time so I'm able to record Call their footage. So the majority of the stuff that you'll be able to see within this episode will be pictures and videos of them sending their stuff towards me through the rules of this video. Obviously, there'll be rules in the description below if you want to read that, but obviously towards the very end of this video, we'll explain what those rules are if you want to submit your clips. On the base that you've designed, you can show mechanics, you can show anything that you want that is so important about your base. Submit it and most likely that will be picked as one of the top spots in the top five best forts and best bases within Fortnite. Also, take into consideration that some of these bases and forts were actually removed from the game on an incident that occurred at Fortnite and the Epic Games servers since the stability was so weak at that current time it had an accident and it pretty much lost some of the actual data for some of the bases and forts of these players and many other players that have been trying to send their clips towards me for this series. So hopefully mates enjoy the gameplay that is in the background of me doing a Fortnite mission while we do this series and also make sure you smash that button like button and let's try and get 200 likes on this video. Spawn the last video was insane so let's keep that going. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So to start off the counter and at number five, we do have Dezar456 with his iron wall fort base. And this is pretty sick because the idea of this base isn't really coherent until you start looking at all the images about his base. There's so much symmetrical factors within his base within each level and it's pretty much symmetrical on both sides. So it's really cool how he's able to use that factor and also has his iron walls which look pretty clean because obviously using the best material in the game does make it look pretty sexy. And obviously he can level up his materials to make them stronger but to look at this base just from first sight is extraordinary. And as we analyze the base itself it does seem like it has a lot of snapping advantages so if you're pretty much on any level you have a clear advantage to shoot down the husk or monsters that will be pushing against your base as you're defending your storm shield on that selected world so that's pretty cool how that works and he does also have traps at the very bottom level of his base which is pretty much ground level to stop those ground units from attacking his base as his other friends hold up the higher terrain or higher levels or elevated positions within his base to destroy the husk major concern can it withhold the higher levels of the storm shield missions because I I feel like if some of those massive monsters come by it's going to get destroyed quite easily but hopefully that's not the case and he's able to pretty much think of what to do to counter that if it does happen and now let's move on to the fourth spot by Lano aka the mother base and his idea was to create a bunker where no zombie or husk will be able to survive if they did enter if they even had the chance of entering obviously as time goes by he'll be upgrading these traps to make them more powerful so if anything gets close they will just get annihilated instantly and as you can see there's an insane amount of traps outside of the base on the ground level and also with inside the base and he does have like a bunker type of base followed up by this pyramid in the center and it looks bloody insane because he's been able to achieve a look that makes it look like it's symmetrical which is maybe a goal that he had intended or just happened on its own but it looks amazing for the one factor followed up by how the zombies are going to take a tough time to actually go through the first bunker wall to get into the base itself where the pyramid's located because it's really hard to get past those barricades because once he actually destroys one barricade there's going to be a trap while also he's trying to destroy the barricade there's another trap on the ground and then when he passes those barricades maybe two barricades that are pretty much put together really closely he's able to go to the next spot but then there's more traps there so he has no chance of survival for the zombie so this base has been focused on the combat side of things and it really does work out pretty well in my eyes and if you may thought one bunker was enough he does have another bunker or another pyramid on the high level of the plankton world so that's pretty sick two is obviously better than one and he also does have the ability to maneuver around the map depending on which side he wants to be on on that bunker can you want to be on the high level areas of the bunker or the higher points of the pyramid he can choose and it's pretty easy for him to get around the map with his teammates and pretty much clean up those zombies and those husks from never entering his base at all so he's able to not even repair the base at all and that's a bonus because repairing bases are the worst aspect of the game because it costs a crap load of material that we don't have majority of the time unless you're farming for another hour or two which isn't too fun and now let's proceed to the top three position on the best force and best bases within the Fortnite experience and this does go to 
Cho Cho and his base that is named Castle Black. Obviously, that is a reference to Game of Thrones, the Castle Black from there, so that was pretty cool. And seeing the way this looks, it looks pretty neat. I don't know if it's a complete identical castle from the TV show, but it's pretty darn close with the color scheme and the way it looks. I'm pretty sure he achieved what he was trying to go for. As you can see from first glimpse, there's a lot of verticality towards the base itself with multiple levels, I'm guessing around five levels or six levels at most with a curvy outpost on the very top. It looks pretty neat. He does have a very interesting mechanic. He has a lot of traps, don't get me wrong, there's a whole bunch of traps on the ground floor, maybe the weakest traps in the game, but it's still being effective, it's still helping out, alongside his jump pads and his healing pads in nearly every level of the actual base, which is going to help him jump around the map quite easily and jump to certain parts of his base and his fort to be able to kill certain different husks, with his team members helping him along his side. So he does have the watchtowers, which is part of the Council Black theme, but also does have the addition of mazes within his base, which can make it quite hard for new players to understand or new friends that come to his base to understand where things are located but with having certain objects like the healing pads in the center pretty much that brings clarity towards the design so if they ever need healing they just go towards the center they get the healing buff and they're all good and ready to go in back into the action and I most likely think he's taken into consideration the way the husk work and how their movement does work when it comes towards a base and a storm shield mission because you can do certain things to control the husk in a certain way so they can go through a whole bunch of traps and then I'm dying just by those traps or if you didn't take that into consideration the majority of the time your base will get destroyed from the lower levels and then if they try to get closer and closer they will because nothing will be able to stop them most likely so it's really great to see this design and i like the theme of it especially on the plankton actual world due to the fact of that gloomy effect that happens with it and castle black is known for that gloomy effect and emotional status and also a level of darkness towards the castle itself so it's really cool how he's pretty much pictures that maybe that was intentional I don't know I think it wasn't intentional but that's pretty cool I like it so good job on that and now let's proceed to number two position on the best forts and best bases within the Fortnite experience and that does go to Snore and his interesting base this is obviously very different from the other bases except for the pyramid base at number four due to the fact that it looks like a pyramid it looks like something historical and provides a very unique effect with the level of design and detail within each object that he used within the actual structure itself. I love it. I don't know why, it's just really interesting and also does utilize the idea of like open areas and foyers within his design, which is pretty cool. Which will also help out with the idea of him being able to crossfire with his teammates through the windows towards that location and kill any type of husk in that area that is open and pretty much visible to all plays at all, all times because it's just an open area. So it just works out pretty well. Also does have the idea of jump pads within his base to be able to move around the map and move around his base to get to certain husks at certain locations, like if he's trying to kill a lobby, if he's trying to kill the zombies that are up close to personal, he has the chance to do so with his teammates because of the jump pads, helping them quickly move around the map, which is obviously a great factor. There's not much else to say about this that most likely has not been covered within the other forts, but it just has striking beauty and that is why it's placed at number two, because it's just something really intriguing, something that you don't usually see within the Fortnite experience. And now let's move on to the number one position on the top five best forts and best bases in episode two of this series and that does go towards Tyler and or his news name Killer Monkey and his interesting base. It looks like Rome. It feels like I just visited Rome while I look at this base and these are just only images. I would love to actually see this base in game but sadly we don't have the time for that because time zone differences and the problems that did occur but obviously just having these pictures are amazing. The level of detail and obviously, the idea he had has been expressed really well throughout his design. Even the tree feels like it's in a place that makes sense. He does utilize the area in a certain way, the hilltops in a certain way to make his structure very unique. Has many windows in all areas of the base itself. His main focus was on the idea of building and he did achieve that. Obviously, when it comes to maybe destroying creatures, it's not the best because there's not many traps at this current moment since he's still low level, he's still trying to climb and get that experience, but the majority of the stuff, like the amplifiers and also his storm shield, are covered within this base structure, or the castle structure, which is really nice. Then you fold up by the high positions and different altitudes of points that he's able to go onto to see enemy waves and destroy them from afar, or pretty much gain intel before they get close of what monsters and husks are going to destroy his base at certain times, so he's able to address that with his teammates and work on destroying those creatures before they get too close to this amazing monument within the Fortnite experience. That's for sure. This is amazing and it looks so good. 
It would have taken a lot of time in my eyes, and honestly, this is only the start of his base. He said he's going to keep on going, he's going to keep on upgrading, and keep on changing, so it's obviously a base with a great future. And since this base is already so massive, it does take quite a bit of time to go around it, but he does have jump pads, directional leaps, and also some other things to help him sustain within the fights, like the healing pad itself, and he does have staircases and routes that he knows, and most likely his teammates know, when they do play on his base to defend that storm shield and the amplifiers within his base. So that completes the top 5 best forts and best bases episode 2 on our channel. If you guys do desire to submit your clips, you can do so, there will be a whole bunch of rules down below, but we're going to describe them right now. Make sure to gather photos and also videos of your base and fort and attach it to the email. Description of what your base is and your epic game use them in the email as well should be contained and also the subject of the email should be Fortnite top 5 send the email to the email address top 5s at gmail.com a link to that email will be in the description below if you've done all those steps you have successfully submitted your clip or your base or your fort towards the series that will be taken into consideration for the next episode if you want to double check those rules I will stress that once again make sure to check the description below because they will be contained down below but as always mate Tell me your thoughts and your opinions on this video. What do you think was the best fort within this top five series? And why was it for the structural effect, the visual effect of the building itself, or the fort, or the base, or was it for the combat side of things? Leave your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. So, mates, if you did enjoy this video, show us why I smash that like button. Let's try to get 200 likes on this video. It makes me see more Fortnite gaming content, power gaming content, and more content by me on my channel. All you have to do is share with your friends and hit the subscribe button to become a mate today. And that is all for this video. Oh, time to go, but don't you worry. Back very soon. Hey, Jazz boys, you guys ain't seen nothing yet. Man, these bases are getting more insane each episode. I can't wait to see what you guys have in store for me to witness in the next series when I have to go through my email and choose the next top five. It's going to be one intense time, but I bet there's going to be one insane number one position, that's for sure. Oh, get spicy and spicy every time. <laughs>